Alright, the battle for Acelia. This is it! And his men Please be easy. So we, I can go home. As the men settled in for sleep, they seek so that I can eat my brownie cookies for a reward for getting through this. I, I really, I don't know if there's enough information on a lair wiki page, but I need to look up what the Maelstrom was. Was it just always there, or did the Diviner do some bullshit? Because obviously that was not a Cillian, because we're going here now. Sworn to destroy each other. But today, we fight as one. As brothers, united against a common evil. If the Diviner and his followers are not destroyed in Asilia, their plague will consume us all. We'll wage a two-pronged assault by land and sea. We'll split their defenses, then deliver them to God. You think it would be a three-prong attack since we have a bunch of air... Like, we have an air force, basically. And this is, you know, this is cool. Everyone's coming together. I feel like there were more nations. Rome, we'll need to protect the fleet. Protect the fleet. Our armies will meet us up river. Uh, are we fighting anything in particular or just Great. killing things? Great! Well, that's, some homecoming, huh, Rome? that's a uh, big boy over Go there. Wings. We lost the manta already. Lay down some cover fire. And we already lost a ship too. That's fun. This might be a bit of a challenge mission. That's like a big boy, right? I want to kill the big boy. Let me kill big boy. Maybe it's ours. Oh god. Yeah. I don't know. I don't... Maybe the towers are what I need to worry about right now. Yeah, there's stuff on the towers. That'd be real helpful. How we doing? We good? Our fleet can't get past their defenses. We have to destroy those bridges. Oh, okay. We can use bombs from our mantas. Can't we just have the mantas do it? I guess they had to use this mechanic again since it was only used at one time. Damn it! They're sinking our ships! They've sunk my battleship. Hopefully that doesn't mean I'm doing too bad. Pick yeah, pick up the barrel. Okay. Gotta go destroy the uh Can I speed up like this? No. Oof. Gonna just casually make my way over. Bless them out of the sky. Can I speed up like nope? Nope, just gonna casually make my way over. Okay. Good fighting. Good fighting. Just want to get to the bridge eventually. Am I aiming at it? Yeah! Oh, I had m multiple bombs. That was a uh, convenient... Oh, right, I forgot that it's not the barrel I'm throwing. It's the stuff in the barrel. I think that was how it was last time. I just completely forgot because we only did it the one time. I don't know. I'm just kind of... throwing stuff. Right, are we still defending? Uh, there's like a lot of stuff attacking things, dude. I just, I need, like, a better idea of what I'm fighting at the moment. Like, I, it would be nice if there was, like, maybe a... That's it. Bring them down. Well, I didn't do that. So, uh, it would be nice if there was maybe, like, a three-pronged, um, like, health bar that indicated, like, oh, their navy and their military and, not military, their land force. Okay, well, now we have to do on-ground battle, which is fine. I like that. Mantas incoming. Or deal with the Asylian Mantas. Get to our troops. Jesus, gotta take them down quick. Head them off. quick. Yeah. Good use of my, uh... Time there. Alright. 
I need to go for like the front one. I need to actually pick my battles as they come. Move. No one else gonna come in and help? These mantas take a couple of hits. Also, I'm not like quite aimed at them. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go for the ones that the arrows are pointing at at any given moment. Nice. The fleet is taking too much damage. The fleet? The, ships. the I'm doing mm, the this seems like it's more important. Like for real? Y'all got a deal. There's like one more, right? Alright, after this I'll deal with the fleet, hopefully. Unless if I fail the mission. Nope. There's another one coming in. Just keep smashing that button. Well done. All right, now what? To the gates. We have to break through their troops. Can I just do on ground combat? Will that be good enough? Well, I'm going to have to deal with the war beasts actually, but What is on their back? Like I've never really paid attention. It looks so weird. Y yeah, I'll deal with the Oh, and catapults too. It's a lot of shit happening. Nice. Show these Asilians the same mercy they've shown us. I guess I'll deal with the catapults first. Hopefully this will be good. Our troops are taking more ground. Uh, I think that's done actually. Okay. I'm taking heavy fire. I'm gonna try to land and hopefully. Oh, mm, that didn't work. I could have latched and I didn't have enough juice though. I don't know. I, um, obviously landing would be hard. Oh, God. Oh, I died again. Oh, okay. This is gonna be a bit of a trouble. A bit of a trouble. I know I need to, like, deal with their turrets on their backs, but it's hard. You really just eat the hits real quick. So I think that one's done. Can I just latch? Can you let me latch? Is that friendly fire? Am I confusing who I am right now? I can't latch on to you. Oh, I could for a minute. Our troops need support. I need Our support. I'm dying. Can you let me land so I can eat? Apparently not. Oh god, I'm gonna die now because I tried to land and it didn't let me. That latch isn't gonna save me. Yeah, that killed me. We well, help those do we? Because I'm dead. I hate war beasts so much. What words of wisdom? Destroying enemy war beasts gives your army a huge moral boost. Yeah, I figured. Alright, well, I have a rage mode, so let's see if this helps. Just, I want to deal with war beasts. Okay, well, I guess I wasn't locked on. I thought I was, but I guess I wasn't. Can you, can you, let me, latch, good. All right, good. That one died real quick. That's good. That's helpful. That's real nice. I should have a little bit of a freer space to land. Hopefully, you would think. Our troops are taking more ground. I could have latched onto that guy, but I got a little scared. Where am I? Okay. I can't even, like, understand where I am right now. Everything was just going really fast and real choppy.
Alright, that guy that guy should be good, right? Should be able to latch onto him real easy, like. Okay. Good. I mean, I know we don't have to technically deal with them, but... Oh god, I feel like it's real helpful to... Where am I right now? Go after you. Come on, latch. Latch, latch, you fuck! Apparently I couldn't latch. I guess its health was too crazy or something. It wasn't quite at latch range. All right. I don't know what just happened there. I think I flew off into the distance. I'm gonna die again. That's good. I'm dead right now. Let me, like, land somewhere to deal with the troops. Maybe that'll help. Alright, land. Maybe just getting rid of the troops would be nice. So that maybe we can just move on past this point. So I, I thought maybe, like, the war beasts would be in my way, and I think they kind of were, but... Yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, I think I would have died, like, immediately here if I had kept the, uh, war beasts around. Like, all of them. Because there's just too many. Shake. Can we kill enough of these fuckers just to move on? Because I don't... What are we doing right now, Rowan? Why is the camera like this right now? Oh, I'm like inside where Warbeast is. And I'm gonna die here because I got too close, I think. Oh god. Failed? Yeah, what happened? Troops got two killed? What? What happened? Tell me. I, did I die? I could have died. That seemed a little funk, funky. I think I probably died. Funky. Oh boy. Alright, let's try this again. I guess the main thing is to just try my best to get rid of the turrets on their backs. I'm probably going to die pretty quickly here and not worry about actually killing the uh, the war beast. Is that really not going to be enough? Alright, rage. Just rage. Kill the turret. Oh god, why am I in the wall? Oh, why am I like- <laughs> Good use of my rage to- Oh my god. Real good use of that rage time, wasn't it? If we use another, can we not worry about the mantis right now? Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Great, good, good stuff. I loved hitting the wall every time that something was happening. That was fun. Good, just uh. Trying to thin their ranks right now. Trying to thin... I'm dying again. Great! Good! Good stuff! Easy to deal with everything. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna take those hits. I just don't want to die. OK. 
can we just kill enough of these fuckers that we don't have to worry? Oh, I'm gonna die again. If only I had more rage. If only my rage mode didn't get fucking wasted that one time. Our troops are pushing the Astilians back. Clear a path for their troops. I would love to just push them back enough. Now I'm not aiming at the troops. I'm dead again. Fun, fun, fun. Fun in the sun. Hey, right, here we are again. We have to break... Show these Astilians... This isn't even the end, so I don't fucking... I don't know how long we have. Can I latch? No, no latching for me. That'd be silly. Oh, I'm taking heavy fire. Oh, good. I love it. I love dying so quick. Like, I don't know... I honestly don't know the best way to deal with these guys. So much shit just keeps firing at me. Like, he has no things. Oh, get me up somewhere. If we lose another Manta, let me deal with the other... St oh, God. in the walls again. Let me just deal with the other stuff right now, dude. I really don't want to be aiming at that war beast that's 20 miles away. I'm gonna die here, but... At least we're thinning the ranks, that's cool. Uh, like, look how thin their ranks are, that should give me... Mm, our army needs air support. Our army is advancing. Our army is advancing, we're doing good, but we need air support. Maybe if I stay in the air more. You know what? Actually, wait, wait, wait. Where's our Manta? I'm going out of Manta. Can I just barrel these fuckers? Is is the way to win the game to not play at all? Is this my my choice here? I think this was how I was supposed to do this. Oh. That definitely helps. Holy shit. Was that the actual thing to do? And I feel like an idiot now. That, that'll do it. Screw the war beasts. They're just annoying. We're through the wall. We beat the game. It's over. Right? It's over. That was it. It's over. Nothing left to see here. It's always just so stressful because there's you gotta protect a bunch of shit. You gotta make sure you don't die. It's uh hmm. I know I'm not good at the game, but the game's also not good at me, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah. that's the diviner's tower. Let's just blow him up. Today the diviner pays for his sins. Just kill him. He has cannons. The cannons are targeting our mantas. Oh no! Kill the cannons first, I guess. Burn out those cannons before it's too late. How? Why would you spawn me so far away from everything? I'm trying. Please don't kill my mantas. I would be like this is again. Because if the mantas die, it's just game over, no matter how many lives I have. That's not a cannon. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna... Alright, rage. That cannon is history. Light it up, Why was I so far away from that cannon? Aim. Please don't kill me. Where? Oh god. No. Yeah, okay. I'm aiming at the cannon now. 
I was okay. Good, good, good. Aim. Just aim. I don't care if I'm spinning around. Just aim. We did it! That's the last one. Now it's over. Now we're gonna fade the black. Gotta load in the next bit of the mission. Any minute now. Oh, now the volcano's evil. Oh! The mountain! It's erupting! The city will be destroyed. If we don't divert the eruption soon, it will be too late. Who cares we about the city? Bombs from our mantas. Drop them into those crevices. Will that stop it? If you say so, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't... I feel like that's not the best solution. Also, I get that there's, like, real, uh, normal citizens in the city, but they can go fuck themselves. That's what I have to say about this. I just don't care about anyone. Get me, get me bomb. Oh, no bomb. Oh, leave me alone. Bomb. Pick up bomb. Good. Few more bombs should do it. Few more bombs, huh? Alright, that's one. Bullseye! The eruption slowing! Okay. Gotta find another manta. You slowed the eruption, but it wasn't fast enough, Rowan. Gotta do the whole mission again. I gotta move up. I gotta, oh, I'm dying. Oh, God, who? Why would... Why would someone be flamethrowering me? Oh, I'm out of stuff. Oh, good. Where's a manta? I'm gonna probably die, too. God. Yep, there I go, dying. I have all my health, though, which is good. This is like weird. This is like such a side thing that's happening right now. We're in the middle of a fight and like, oh yeah, the volcano too. Watch out for that volcano. It'll get you. It's a tricky son of a gun that volcano is. Alright, please tell me this is like enough. Alright, good. I was afraid I would have to actually, like, hit the inside of the volcano. So, alright, the last one, the one I was going at before. More people running. Gotta oh, watch out, the volcano's angry. Not as angry as the Maelstrom, but it's angry. That tower's not doing so hot. I mean, it's actually... N never mind, I take it back. It's doing pretty decent considering it took a bunch of rocks. This isn't like our plan, right? To attack the palace with Volcano. Because it seems kind of weird. How did I take so much damage? When did that happen? Was it because I... It might have been because I hit the way I did. What's the... the city's burning. We have to bomb the vents. Where am I? Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I guess I died. Get me. Alright. Well, now I'm on my last leg, so that's fun. Where are we going? That one, right? Alright, we're good. Alright, please tell me this mission's almost over. Because I died a bunch to a volcano. Pretty sick.
I like that a bit of the volcano went through one of our mountains, but it's okay. Jesus Christ, dude. That tower's not doing so hot. Witness the fate of those who defy God. Ugh. I'm hit, Rose. You have to finish By this. one Kobakai. ballista? Rome, there's no time. We have to finish this now. Cool. The palace is damaged, but not down. We've got to take it out. Rose, let's take the diviner out for good. Kill him. I need to like He's aim our better. If they crash, the bombs could wipe out the city. Yeah, Attack I don't quite want that, but give me. Oh, come on, aim. I don't want to die, but I also want to not have anyone around me die. Cause that. Oh, come on, get get a barrel. It's fine. We're good. I just need a barrel. Come on. I don't even know if I need a bit. Oh, God, God, Rowan, please, for the love of God, this has to be like it. Grab a goddamn barrel. Okay, okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's cool. Okay. Okay. I guess we're not grabbing a fucking barrel. I'm fine. I'm not mad. Because I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I doing? Barrel. Barrel. That wasn't. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we can just firebomb it. You would think barrel would be needed. Who is on my ass right now? An asshole is. Okay, well he left, so it's fine. I I think I need a barrel. I think I need a fucking barrel, and it just refuses me. It refuses me. The last bastion of hope I have. I. I'm trying, because I don't want to speed up, because speeding up might be bad. Finally! Thank you! Where's this tower? Get out of my way, Manta. The palace is weakening. It's weakening, alright. Did we do it? Are we just good? The final challenge, trying to get a goddamn barrel off of Manta. Watch it say mission failed. I'm stressing right now. Okay, cutscene. Final boss. Just take out the whole goddamn tower. Oh, he's just up there, hanging out. Look at him shaking his fist. Oh, I'm so angry. Oh, I'm dead. That was a weird scream. <laughs> What's that, Wilhelm? Did that motherfucker die on a Wilhelm? I'm gonna have to re-listen to that. It sounded like a Wilhelm to me. <laughs> if it's not, that's a wasted opportunity, but... See, it was all worth it. Kobakai. You were right about the sunset. You got arrowed? I'll get help. No. You are the leader of the clan now. Kobakai. What can I do? Rip off my arm so I can be cool like my papa. Rebuild as one. So much has been destroyed. It'll never be the same. Let's hope so. Yeah, cuz if it was the same, war would be dumb again. We got to be friends, everyone. Kobakai. I can't believe he's dead. If Rowan didn't just say his name, I probably would have forgotten it already. Cobra Kai. Take him home. 
I'm just not gonna have a dragon anymore. Or, I guess, was that, I'm sorry. Was that Kobakai on the dragon? Like, send him off to the place where he belongs? I didn't really catch what Rowan was doing right there. I thought that was my dragon. It might be, I don't know. I don't fucking know anymore. This old lady's here! Rowan. Your people are waiting. I forgot she even existed. I am king now. As king, I demand that everyone fights each other. Only the strongest will survive. And I shall fight them, and we shall see who is the strongest out of all of us. Then that person shall rule the kingdom. But what use is ruling a kingdom with no people because you killed them all? That was the message that I decided to send down to the people. Beautiful. Ah, uh, it, like... I'll say it's not the worst game ever. But boy, is it not the best. Uh, I mentioned it before, like, the 6-axis obviously was pushed by Sony, no matter how much Sony tries to deny that. So, like, I probably would have had a better time if I tried not to use 6-axis. I'll tell you what, I don't know if the, uh, the left, uh, button on the D-pad you turned, uh, at launch with the six axis controls, but I would have actually fucking like thrown my controller at something if I didn't have that. If I had to shake the controller to to uh turn around every time, that would have been hell. So I might not have done the full experience. The full six axis radicalness that I wanted. But uh, controlling was hard. Uh, the, like, I don't know, man, just mission objectives were vague. And there was a lot of stuff you had to micromanage, which was quite difficult. Uh, the story was weird, obviously. Like, Rowan was just kind of sitting on his laurels for half of it. And he's like, hmm, I know that... Loden and the Diviner are kind of assholes, but I'm just gonna sit here and see them be assholes. Oh wait, they got me killing children in a church? Oh, now I'm the asshole. Guess I shouldn't be that. Oops, got stabbed. Well, now I'm helping the, uh, the Mogwai out. M Marakai? I already forget their names. Gotta go save Kobakai. He should know that everything went tits up in a weird way, because I'm pretty sure he was in the, uh, the uh treaty room tent whatever at the beginning but eh, whatever gotta put koba kai in a regular ass ice prison but we'll put everyone else in the maelstrom the maelstrom the storm that never ends where rocks are floating and shit and then you know we take back the city but also the volcano's a little angry the volcano gets just a smidge angry at the end there. It's kind of like a looming threat that just shows up once. I will take that volcano over an actual boss fight though. I guess Loden was the final boss, which was fine. That kind of worked fine enough as a final boss situation. I don't, maybe I missed that. I don't even know what the Diviner's plan was just to take over. To be like, look how cool I am. I'm the leader of the bunch now. Check me out. Seemed a little bit, uh, crazy to do. Considering he seemed to have some sway over the kingdom already. But whatever. Had to get Loden the stabbed cool guy with one arm. Uh... I would recommend reading a bit about that Polygon article that I mentioned at the beginning of this LP, though. Because it did have some interesting things to say. Like, they really wanted a morale system which I guess could be shown or seen with how I'll say quote-unquote gray they tried to make war out to be 
uh, very heavy on the quotes there, because it wasn't the uh, clearest. Like, oh, it's great because the bad guys turned out to be good guys, and you were on the wrong side, even though it was abundantly clear that that's what was happening. Uh, I don't know, man. I think, like, a, a game about riding dragons seems really cool. Just it doesn't quite come off as fun when it's just a, a, uh, jet. Like, it's just a spaceship again. I need to play the Rogue Squadron games. I have them. I've played them before, but I was young. Very young. And by very young, I mean I don't really know how old I was. Like, middle school, maybe? So I don't remember them very well. I've never been good at the, like, flight games. But I know the Rogue Squadron games are supposed to be good. So I'd be interested, interested to see kind of the difference. Since, like, this obviously was riddled with problems. I like all these wingmans. I'll be their wingman any day, Rowan. What's Walla? What does Walla mean? I don't know what Walla is. There was one thing too with the Polygon all the article. Uh, they were like working on some weird animal fighting game, I think. I don't remember, it's been a bit since I read it. But then it got cancelled because they gotta work on Lair. Like, you gotta get that deadline for the launch of the PlayStation 3. You didn't get the deadline? Come on guys, get it together. What a shame. What a shame Lair is. What's with consoles and having trouble with their Dragon games? How cool would Scalebound have been on the Xbox? And that's just dead. Maybe it would have been bad like Lair. Maybe it's good that it died. Nah, Scalebound probably would have been cool. I'm rambling about other nonsense now. I'm just glad it's over. I'm glad that the 6-axis just kind of slowly... Well, it kind of quickly died, honestly, on the PlayStation. Like, obviously, games had to have it. Like, oh, Uncharted, you gotta balance on the balancing board. Actually, like, half the games that had used 6 axis was balance on the balancing board. I think, didn't Uncharted 1 have a thing where you had to use the 6 axis to arc your grenade? That was pretty bad. Glad that was gone in the uh, sequels. I think, like, the only ever... The only thing that I can think of with the 6 axis that's ever been good was using the 6 axis to control Sackhead's... Sackhead... Sackboy's head in Little Big Planet. Because that didn't have any gameplay thing. It was just like, oh, you can kind of make it like he's looking at stuff if you feel like it. That's fun. That's cute. Actually, wait, another one. Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. Not the best use of six axis, but it was a decent idea. There was a gun, I forgot what it was called, but you shoot out a tornado that you control with the six axis while you do all the other controls like jumping and whatnot with you know the actual controls it's fine that was pretty good because it's like hey use a third analog stick i think that's probably the best you can do with the six axis is oh it's a third analog stick never use a six axis to replace a control like option because the controller is already good you got what you need there again i'm rambling but these credits are probably going to go on for a good bit. Can't think of anything else with 6 Axis. I know Ratchet and Clank also had uh, the sky dive sections like we had at the uh, end there when we were fighting Loden. And those are fine. Those work okay. I think it would be better just to use analog sticks, but whatever. Uh, I can't even... Like, I'm trying to look at what games I have, and I can't think of any of them that use the 6 Axis. So yeah, not the best idea. It's like too with uh, PlayStation 4, I think a good handful of the games that launched on that tried to take advantage of the touchpad in ways that were a little forced. They were The touchpad wasn't as bad as the 6 axis. The only thing I really remember with that is like kind of the awkward use of it in Infamous Second Son, where you had to just use it to do weird stuff. I don't remember exactly what. I know you had to use it for graffiti. Uh, Gravity Rush 2 just had the touchpad for switching your styles, which was fine. Just use it as a D-pad. 
6 axis, not great. Lair, not great. Not terrible. We would also like to thank Phil Harrison and Will Trebs as uh, Worldwide Studio. Special thanks to our families. Pitt? Yo, shout out to Pitt. It, it's, um, could you imagine what this game would be like if they really tried to push for their idea for the game of, like, the open world? I think it would be in, a bit funky. Pretty, pretty not great. Shout out to Bucky. Gotta look to see what extra features we unlocked. Bronze medal. There I go, not getting gold. Ooh, look how bad I did. So I would have had to have gotten a bit more carnage, and then I would have had to do, like, a next set of tasks for the uh, next medal, I guess. I saved a lot of boats and mantas, though, which is good, because they made it sound like if one more manta died, I would have failed the mission at that last bit with the war beasts, and that would have been bad. We did it. And now for nine bronze, five silver. Pretty cool. Gotta look at our extras. Making of lair. There's a lot of making ofs. I guess we just unlocked all of it, right? Concept gallery character. Oh, we didn't get storyboards or what? Guess I need to get gold medals. To unlock that other cool stuff. That other cool stuff. I can't talk too good now. Oh, this is like production gallery. I think I took a look at that. It's kind of funny seeing those. Concert hall. Just music and kind of a background image. This is weird. That's a weird one. Uh, I looked through the production gallery a little bit before and... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure most production pictures have to do it, but it's funny seeing they're like, oh, gotta blur that out. I don't know what that was, actually. Like a figure of something. Can't show that t-shirt on TV. Uh, trailers. I don't think they had the cool trailer. Yeah, they have lame E3 trailers. I want the TV spot, man. Credits. I forgot to look at cheats. There's like... Hmm. I don't think there's any interesting cheats. I think they're like... Oh, we can put commentary on! Oh man, we gotta replay the whole game again for commentary. Alright, last thing. Gotta go back to Lair Network. Let's see where we rank. Where we at on the rank? Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think we did pretty good on the rankings here. We could do better though. We could do better. Gotta go back in. Gotta do better. Lair. T for teen. Only on PlayStation 3. We got the controller, it's great new hardware. Everyone huddles around the desk and looks at it. So the first thing we did is just take the controller and use a tilt as a replacement for the joystick, left, right. You tilt left, you tilt right. And everyone tried it and it's like, this is crap, I don't want to play this. 